Poor man accidentally inherits $40 billion. He became the richest man in the city overnight. His life changed forever. A rich man died tragically in a mountain climbing accident. He had no children and left a $40 billion inheritance. His partner Jack inquired and found a man named Deeds in a small town who was the only family member of the rich man. Jack, along with another employee, Mark, went in search of the lucky man. When Deeds found out he was going to be a billionaire, he wasn't very excited. He doesn't know how to run a company. Jack asked Deeds to sell him all the company stock so he could live in the countryside with $40 billion. Before the inheritance papers are taken care of, Jack invites him to come to New York for a while to go to his uncle's funeral. Deeds came to New York with Jack. Soon Deeds arrives at his uncle's house and meets the butler Leo. After a night's rest, he came to the office to sign the transfer agreement. Jack told Deeds to leave because he hadn't finished the paperwork yet. He didn't want Deeds to stay in the office. Deeds didn't care, he wasn't looking for fame or fortune, but not everyone thought so. All the reporters wanted to cover the story of the lucky guy, and Mary was one of them. Mary was one of them, she faked a robbery and managed to meet Deeds. She had dinner with him, but Deeds played very crazy. He got drunk and made a mess on the street, and Mary's TV company picked up the story. The funeral for Deeds' uncle began. He makes a poem for him at the funeral, and it's all televised. Mary saw how stupid he was and decided she had to be with him. She made sure with her boss that he would get her scoop. In the evening, Deeds asks Mary out again. During their date, there was a fire. Deeds immediately rushes into the fire and saves the cat and a lady in the room. The scene was caught on Mary's camera, but by the time the news came on in the morning, the video had been maliciously edited to make Deeds look like a bad guy. Mary was furious. Deeds is a good man, why are they trying to discredit him? The boss said that a bad and stupid guy are more appealing to the viewers. Jack read the stories and approached the owner of the news company. He thinks they can work together to discredit Deeds. Mary took Deeds back to her hometown, but she wasn't born here. It was all a lie. With her acting skills, Mary didn't show a single flaw. Deeds was so gentle with her. Mary fell in love with him, but she didn't have the courage to tell him the truth. Deeds prepared a candlelight dinner at a basketball court and planned to propose to Mary. And then the news started to play. The newscaster told the whole story about Mary filming him. Deeds realized that Mary had been approaching him for a purpose. He was very sad, but then the stock transfer agreement is ready. He signed the agreement and gave away all $40 billion. Then he went back to the countryside and continued to live his simple and happy life. Mary was saddened to learn of Deeds' departure. She regretted very much that she had cheated on him and now she couldn't undo it all. At that moment, the news reported that Jack was planning to auction off Uncle Deeds' company. That means 50,000 employees will lose their jobs. Jack calls a shareholders meeting and asks everyone to vote. Deed shows up out of nowhere, he's just bought a share and is giving a speech as a shareholder. He asked everyone what their childhood dreams were, which impressed the other shareholders. Just when Deeds thinks everything is going to be okay, Jack says he owns 51% of the shares and the auction will be finalized. The crowd is shocked, they thought it was over. Mary broke into the meeting. She read the rich man's diary. He had sex with a maid when he was young. The maid gave birth to a son, and he was butler Leo. The real heir to the estate was Leo, who was the largest shareholder in the company. He then fired Jack. Leo offered Deeds a billion dollars as a thank you, and Mary sincerely apologized to Deeds. Deeds forgave her. They ended up living together in Deeds' hometown. Deeds used his money to buy everyone in the town a sports car. And that's the end of this story. The movie is called Mr. Deeds. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe to me. See you next time.